Uh, well, next step, hopefully uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, we'll be approaching the mayor and the warden to do a letter uh, to explain what they just did over the last week and the significance of it. Send that letter to the Minister of Health and indicate to the Minister of Health uh, we are ready and uh, the ball is squarely uh, in their court and we want to move to stage two just like Niagara did and uh, we want to get this project uh, to continue to move forward. Another example, how important is this do most other projects that have received this kind of a commitment move forward to that stage? Well, no, you can't guarantee that. Uh, just because you get the local share uh, lined up doesn't mean it doesn't guarantee you move forward because you still need their approval. But what it does do is it puts the ball squarely into the province's court to make this a reality um, and to move it forward and shows that, as stated here tonight by numerous councillors and the mayor, we have skin in the game and we're serious and we've made a significant local investment. Now we want the province to move the project to the next stage. We're not asking the province to stick the shovel in the ground uh, tomorrow. We have a lot of work to do before that happens, but we can't get to that shovel in the ground until we do this design work and this planning work. Okay, what exactly is stage two? I know we've said in your house. Yeah, stage two is uh, the design work and what they call functional programming. So what you have to do is take every single program you're putting into the new hospital and to urgent care, and you have to, in effect, design that program with words. So how many beds, what it's gonna look like with respect to staffing, what it's gonna look like with respect to space. And then you take that and you hand it over to the design team and they use those words to design the space and uh, design what the hospital is gonna look like. Is this a design team that you hire? A design team we go out to RFP and hire an architectural uh, consultants and architectural firm. The fun thing about that for the community, if you're talking about fun and getting the community engaged again, is as we start designing the spaces, we start mocking them up and building them and we invite the community in to kick the tires. And we have a lot of great uh, individuals in our community with a lot of knowledge and they're the ones who are going to live in this facility for generations to come. It's their facility. So it would be great if a bunch of them or even a handful of them or thousands of them have an opportunity to comment about what the hospital is actually going to look like uh, when it's actually built. Then that is true ongoing community engagement, which we started four years ago. You know, for those who are worried that there won't be an ER close by to the core, can you go into the urgent care center and what you were saying before, how it plays the second ER and potentially expand the hours? Yeah, when we talk, uh, the consultant who's uh, involved in the project continually wants us to stop using the words urgent care center. They want us to say satellite emergency department because truly that's what it's going to be at the Grace site. It's going to be an emergency department staffed by emergency room physicians and emergency room nurses, but it's not going to have uh, inpatient beds attached to it. That's the only difference. It's going to be from an emergency department to uh, one with inpatient beds. And since approximately 90% of the patients who come to an emergency department are discharged home, that's one of the benefits of it. And you're not going to have to have and compete, in effect, with EMS coming to that site. They're not going to go to that site. So what you're going to be dealing with is patients who um, you're not going to compete with a vital sign absent patient coming into the hospital that comes in by way of EMS. They're going to be able to focus on those, that 90%. How do we focus on that 90% of patients that go home? How do we make their journey that much more efficient, that much more quicker, and therefore take stress off the overall system? And what they've done across the province is created these urgent care centers, which are satellite EDs across the province, and they've seen they've worked. And what is your response to people feeling they didn't get enough consultation? I, you know, I, I, I truly um, respect uh, respect individuals um, that don't like the result. Um, they have a lot of passion and I hope they can channel that passion uh, behind the project. Um, I really would question how much more consultation uh, the team could have done uh, involved. Um, it's, it's been extraordinary when we sat back the other day and kind of went through everything and listed everything um, and all the sessions. It's kind of unbelievable to look back and go, wow, we did all that. Um, but it's a pure team effort, a lot of people involved. Everyone had an opportunity to speak for the project, speak against the project, give ideas, 
um, about the good things, the bad things, and that was all taken into account by the steering committee as we went forward. They were involved in the criteria. They were invited to be on the site selection committee. We had volunteers from our community, all of them, some board members, but they're volunteers, and also volunteers from our community on the site selection committee. No one's done that in the province of Ontario or the Dominion of Canada when it comes to selecting the site for a new hospital. So if that doesn't engage the community, I don't know what is a better example than that. Has the city not agreed, say back in December or even now, to start this process over again and start it, select it a new site? Uh, no. Uh, if the city or county did not support the levy discussions in principle in December, this project's over. If they did not support it this past week, this project's over. Um, the province is not, you got to remember, they gave us two and a half million dollars to get to where we're at now. They, we can't say to them, oh, you know what, we want to start it over again and try this again. They'd look at us and say, for what? Um, now, if there was community was in an uproar and this was totally wrong and it's a mistake and everything, that's different, but that's not the case um, in this particular circumstance. So um, we've been at it for four years. It really is time to move forward and get to stage two um, because, uh, again, you know, we are in a competition and there's one of the organizations we're in a competition with or in a region that has sl moved slightly ahead of us. So um, we've got to we got to push this forward. I know you've answered this, but I just got here. So what yeah. is your reaction? What does it mean that we left it that past? Oh. Huge. Huge. Right? That's Bernie. So, uh, huge. It took us two days to get here, right? Because we started last night and we're into the morning. <laughs> no, but, yeah, see? Yeah. No, but it's huge. Um, uh, in our discussions with the ministry, when we started talking about the levy and what we were hopefully uh, what we we're hoping to have happened for this past week and we talked about the possibilities that we hope we're in a position where we have both the county and the city agreeing to not only the levy but agreeing to implementing it immediately that made a big difference in our discussions with the ministry regarding this project their ears perked up their eyes opened up and they were shocked at number one that that happened number two that they were in for the full amount. That it wasn't, well, we're gonna go 50%, you gotta fundraise the other 50%. Because they know that that's very difficult to fundraise, you know, $100 million. So when they heard, no, they're in for the upside limit, with the condition that if we do fundraise, we get to reduce that, but they're in for the whole amount. That made a big difference. So um, I'm hopeful again in the next 24, 48 hours that a letter goes from the warden and the mayor uh, at indicating what they did just this past week to the Minister of Health and indicating to the Minister we are ready and we're ready to move to stage two and um, as stated by the Mayor and the Councillors tonight they've put skin in the game and uh, the other analogy is we've hit the ball squarely in the province's courts third time to play it.